Hey guys, Mr. Gamercraft here, once again. It's exciting, I know. Episode 2 of the Survival Let's Play Minecraft. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I think. Hopefully. This one. We did some stuff last time. Which mainly involved sheep, cows, chickens and a mine I think was chickens in the first one no whatever anyways we now have some stuff off camera I found something interesting that direction there is a village in the middle of the plains next to a dark oak forest so I'm going to head over there we're gonna see if we can find anything else because we need a place to set up shop like permanently Okay, first I'm actually going to sleep because the sun's going down. You know, given that I can actually get in the bed, which may not happen. Come on. Get in the bed. Get in the bed. Get in the bed. In the bed. Okay, but anyways, I don't, I'm debating on whether or not to set up shop by that village. Because here's the deal. Plains biomes are very versatile. They're not hot biomes, which means snow golems and stuff are possible. First of all, there's a village there, which will make later projects easier. So, I don't know. I'm debating just setting up shop in the actual village. Oh, excuse me. But first, I want to see if there's anything else cool around in that general area. So, I will be right back once we arrive there. So here it is. It's a pretty nice village, really. There's a ton of cows over here. It's a river. It's cool. One good idea for exploring would be to take a boat and just go down that river for a way. See if I can find anything. But on the other side of this, I don't, you can barely see the distance there. That is actually a dark oak forest. There's mushrooms and everything in it. I've already gone through and lit most of this place up because I don't want these villagers to die. They are very important for stuff. So here it is. I'm debating once again. Where is that zombie? I know you heard me, zombie. Where are you? Maybe it's an underground thing. These villagers don't appear to be running, which means he's not close. That close, at least. Okay. Anyways, I don't know. I could build an iron farm here, since the village is right there. I can't actually build it too close to a village in order for it to work. It has to be at least like 70 blocks, something like that away. So maybe like right over here, I build it. That could work. Then, oh, that could be bad. What else is over here? If you guys are noticing every once in a while, like, it'll just cut in the video, it's because I hit my record button and then hit it again, because I've noticed that when my recordings are too long, perhaps decides to give up on me and corrupt them before I can get them into Movie Maker. So I try to split it up as much as possible. Here's an idea. I'm just throwing this out there. Don't know if this is what I'm going to make. I want my base area thing to be basically like a village. Like. Not this kind of village. Like houses that I build myself just around with different farms and stuff in them maybe. And then. 
I don't know about my main base, though. What if it's like... What if there's like a giant tree? Does that sound interesting? What kind would it be? I could use wood from this to make a giant, like absolutely giant dark oak tree. Live inside it. I've done that before, not on a video, but... I don't know, something to consider. And I think we just found our zombie. Yeah, um, nope, 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 good. This is, though, this is a really nice village. It's large for most of them that I've seen, at least. So, I'm going to do some more stuff off camera and see if I can find, oh, Sugar cane over there. See if I can find anything else remotely useful. So I just went through the forest, and it appears that on the other side of it... How did this break? Oh, well. Anyways, it appears on the other side of it is yet another plains area, and a birch forest. I think we're just going to go back to the village, honestly. It seems like a pretty good place. I don't know. Oh, big decisions. The rest of the series swivels on this. I guess I can move it if I need to, so not really. Alright. I'll be right back. Okay, so if I do set up shop in this village, then we're going to need a way to get back to spawn because, I don't know, spawns fairly useful in this game so knowing where it is and how to get to it's kind of useful so I thought we could continue this path over here over through the forest all the way back so this is going to take quite a while and I'm probably going to break quite a few shovels so I'll be back when I've made some progress of any kind so it got to night by the time I got over here, and yeah, defending the village to the best of my ability. Creeper over there. Running out of torches, so that's not good. I've lit up all the houses, so as long as I stay inside, the villagers should be relatively safe. So I'm thinking I'm just going to head home and count on these guys to not be morons. I'm not kidding, they're villagers. Of course they're going to be morons. That right there is exactly why I'm defending this place. Holy crap. Crap on the cracker. Crap on the cracker. Okay, that's the social spawning thing. If a zombie takes damage or is aggro or something like that, it calls in more of them.
Crap. And that one's holding an iron sword as well. Spider. Jeez. Now you as well. No, no, no. Please no. Get to the water. Come on, regenerate. Thank you. I still haven't died on this world, but uh, that was pretty damn close. The sun should be rising in a moment now. Not again. This grass is not helping. I can't see anything. Die grass. My sword's already going down. This is not good. Well, that was intense. <laughs> I hope that wasn't corrupted by fraps because um, during that entire thing, I didn't, you know, break it up. So, no, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Bad. Oh, jeez. Okay. Zombie. Ignore the fact that I was just eating bits of your brothers. Thank you. Alright, let's just get home. That was freaking intense. I know, not to a lot of you. To a lot of you, that was nothing. But to me, that was intense. But I'm still not 100% used to this whole new combat crap. The reason I'm gathering two eye plants is for dye for future stuff. Because, I, for those of you that don't know, if you bone meal a two high plant like that, like this, or this, or that, these, it will actually just give you the plant back. Which is very useful. Where's coal? You. I had some... There he is. There he is. Learn to speak.
Jeez, okay. There's that, so that should grow into a big tree sometime soon. I do have a bow here, that's from one of the skeletons, which I actually killed just before I started recording there. So now I need to make a half decent shovel. I'm actually going to do that because I'm going to need a lot of these. Cool. All right. Now let's get back to that path and continue our work. So I brought the road over, the path, all the way back here, and there's a spider. I saw a creeper back that way. Somewhere over here. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Next time, we need to get our resource situation under control, because I have so many plants that I want to do, but I can't do any of them, because we have, like, we have no redstone, we have no iron, we have no lapis, no diamond, no emerald, no anything, really. So, yeah, we need to do that. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!